Hello everyone, welcome to all of you. I have taken this problem from Go Geometry site. This question looks simple, but if you try yourself, you will see how challenging this question is. Anyway, in this problem, in the diagram, we are given the triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with BA is equal to BC. Angle ABC is equal to 100 degree and AC itself is equal to sum of BC and AD. We have to find the value of this X marked angle. We need some constructions that is from B draw an arc of length BA this and from D draw the same arc length BA here and let these two arcs intersect at point P. Since we have drawn BA is equal to BP is equal to DP so therefore BA is equal to DP by construction and is equal to BP. Now consider two triangles BAC and uh, BDP. Since we are given that AC is equal to BC plus AD and BC is equal to BA, so we can say that AC length will be equal to BA plus AD which is BD. So we found AC is equal to BD. So in these two triangles, in triangles BTP and BAC. First BD is equal to AC. Second DP is equal to AB by construction. Third point BP is equal to BC by construction. So by SSS test of congruency, triangle BDP is congruent to triangle ACB. This angle is 100. So since it is an isosceles triangle, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. 180 minus 100 is 80. 80 divided by 2 which is 40. So this will be 40. And this is also 40. We have proved that these two triangles are congruent. Sides AC and BD are corresponding sides are equal. So the angle opposite to AC is 100. Therefore angle opposite to DB is also 100. Since this is 100, these two sides are equal. So these two angles will also be equal. So 180 minus 100 is 80, 80 divided by 2. So this will also be 40. 40, 40. Now this whole thing is 100. This part only is 60 because the full angle is 100. If this is 60, these two sides are equal, isosceles. So these two base angles will also be equal. So 180 minus 60 is 120, 120 is divided by 2 will be 60, 60. This is 60. And this will also be 60. This is 60. The, this angle is 40. This whole is 60. So this remaining part is 20. This is an equilateral triangle. Now, now this is 160 and BPC is an equilateral triangle. So this length will also be equal to this length. I mean to say PD is equal to PC. Triangle DPC will also be an isosceles 
triangle because PD is equal to PC. So these two sides are equal. So these two angles will also be equal. 160, 180 minus 160 is 20, 20 divided by 2 is 10. This is also 10. Now this angle is 40 and this is 10. So this remaining part will be 40 minus 10 which is 30 degree. So we can say that value of angle BDC which is X is equal to 30 degree. And this is the required answer.